Hey guys, it's Hope. Um, I wanted to come on. Let me turn this around. I got a new board. It lights up, but if I light it up, it's going to be way too much going on. So, I wanted to come on um, and do a VR for Sarah's Mountain Art. Um, she is having a challenge. Um, so, I believe it ends... Hold on. It started October 19th and it ends on November 25th. Um, so it has to be postmarked um, by the 25th of this month. So, yeah. So um, she's doing a challenge giveaway. You have to be subbed to her channel um, and her mother's channel. Her mother's channel is Midges Mountain Art. M-I-D-G-E-S Mountain Art. I wish I could link them. We all know I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, um, yes. So you have to be subscribed to both women. Sweet, sweet, sweet ladies. I will tell you this now. I'm very, very glad I found their channels. Um, so what is she, what she's asking is um, you can make a tag flip that she's going to do like a point system. So you can do a tag flip. That's one point. She wants three tags. Um, larger than three inches in height. Um, oh, and I wanted to tell you, her challenge is winter or Christmas themed. So whatever you make, it needs to be winter or Christmas themed. Um, so yeah, so the tag flip and then uh, an embellishment box if you choose to make that. I know you don't have to make them all. You can make, make them all if you'd like or make one, you know, of whatever she's asking. So, okay, the VR is one point if you do a VR. Um, which is, this is my VR, um, and yeah, the tag flip is one point. Again, three tags, larger than three inches in height. Uh, the embellishment box is one point. Um, she wants a loaded embellishment box, and it must be decorated. So she wants the box decorated, uh, winter or Christmas themed. Um, also, you can make a memory dex card. That's one point as well. Um, and she's asking to put your info on the back, you know, your YouTube name, birthday, things like that. So um, that's, and if you send one extra goodie, that's also one additional point. So yeah, I mean, that's super fun. I joined in and while I'm doing my VR for um, the sweet Sarah, I am going to show what I have made for her because the items I have made, finally I'm done, um, are gonna go out Friday. So, I would like to sh start sharing what I did for her challenge. Um, I made, let me move this over for a moment. There we go. I only, I'm limited space here, so. Okay. So, I made this memory decks for her. Let me put this light down because it's taking away the uh, gloriness of this. So, I made this memory decks for her. Um, I did it, you know, winter themed, Christmas themed, same, see, two in one. Uh, yeah, so what I did is I have these snowmen, they're dimensional, they're from Kane Company, they're from the D-Stash, um, that I just bought. Uh, hold on, I got spider webbies here from the glue gun. So yeah, so I put those on, I put two, a smaller one than that one. I believe one of them, yeah, he has a little shovel, aren't they cute? Let me put these up. Cute. And then this little uh, snowflake here, the, the ones that are in the center, they're actually from like this uh, trim along with this one, and I just cut them off. They're like an aluminum trim. And then these are wooden veneers. The trees are wooden, and the dream is wood. I just painted them myself. Um, and then I added diamond stickles. I don't know if you can see the stickles. Uh, it's beautiful in person. I've stickled this to high heaven. Um, and then in the background, I have layered like poinsettias. Uh, I have a bow here, like a Christmas bow. And they're also layered with, uh, not layered, um, done up with red stickles. Yep, 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 everywhere. Um, I used the diamond stickles around the snowmen as well. Forgive the nail. I told you guys earlier I broke it. <laughs> Okay, so that is my, this is layered too, like I have it, see it, all dimensional, and so if you look, this is how it sits up, it's really, you know, nice and chunky. Um, I've never done a Christmas, uh, what do you call it, traditional themed things, like uh, traditional Halloween, traditional Christmas, I love it, I'm having a lot of fun with it. 
So I'm thankful, thankful, thankful to all you women who do all these wonderful different challenges because it completely takes me out of my comfort level. So thank you for that. So yes, so that's the front. And then here is the back. So what I did is I took like a little dimensional Christmas ornament, you know, dimensional sticker, put it up here. I just, you know, did another zigzaggy, you know, uh, cardstock. Then I put a poinsettia here and I rounded it with my, you know, scissors, put a little blingy pearl in the middle. And then I just added, I added a little card in here. See, I added these things. It's one of those snowflakes and I added like this black flower thing. This is my little card for her. I distressed the edges of it. And it's all, you know, just my info and things like that on here for her. So that will go inside the little pocket here for her. Um, and that is my memory decks. Then I did the tag flip. Um, so I chose to do the tag flip and the memory decks. Um, only because I have a few other challenges I'm doing in a collab. And I'm trying to get ready for my first ever craft fair. So yay! I'm super excited. So yeah. Anyway, so this is how it begins. All this beautiful trim and all that goodness. Uh, what I did is I took one of those snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree, the plastic ones, and I just made like a little ro rosette and put a little blingy uh, resin rose in the middle. But I just took like one of each trim that I've actually used on each tag and just tied it along each, every other, you know, snowflake, um, you know, uh, point. So see, the other side looks like that. It's just all tied on each separate one. On the opposite side of that cute little snowflake, I glued like those little um, glittery balls on each tip. So um, yeah, but I want it to go this way, right guys? <laughs> and I have it backwards. Okay, anyway, so we'll do it this way. So then the first one is this one. I have this little guy. So I took some beautiful trim that I'd gotten a long time ago. I have tons and tons and tons of lace trims from uh, Carla, uh, Carla's Crafty. Is it Carla Craft? Yeah. So I anyway, I buy them from her D stashes. I have these blingy little um, like epoxy stickers I got a couple years ago from Dollar Tree. So I put them on this little train sticker. It came from um, an ephemera pack I got from the stash. I made a little velvet jean colored like um, you know bow to put on here and I used uh, the traditional paper pad. All the paper is um, the traditional paper you know from Michaels. Yeah so that's what I used. And these tags are actually those tags that um, you know we bought a long time ago from the hot buys. That's these, so they're nice and thick. And I measured it, and they're actually four and a half inches in height, so they were perfect. Then I have this one on this side. I stamped a little stamp on here. Sorry, it says let it snow with a rubber stamp that my friend Gina sent me. Um, and then these little acrylic snowflakes are actually like these big uh, table scatter pieces I got at Hobby Lobby, my last haul from there. Um, and then I used the silver balls from Dollar Tree, little glitter balls to glue on there. These, this is the, um, like the faux snow. I put, added that on. Now what I did is instead of using Mod Podge, I actually put, um, you know, I put regular art glitter glue. I dunked it in and then I put, um, the, what is it? It's this. Hold on guys. I put, I use this over it. My gloss medium. Yeah. So instead of Mod Podge, I did the gloss medium and it, it really came out neat in person because it's nice and like glittery and glossy, so it's pretty. So that's that one. And then, are we going this way? Yes. Then this one's the next one. These are the little metal, these are metal that I got from that D stash. I did another stamp and it is Joy Love Peace in this holiday season. 
So I'm not a great stamper. I'm still learning, but I did use a wooden stamp. Um, and then I write, wrapped some, glued some twine all the way around the entire um, tag. And I inked the edges with some ink. Um, so that's that one. On the opposite, all these have, uh, oh, this is stuck to my ephemera. All these have the little, pretty little, um, you know, eyelash trim stuff on it also. This is the opposite side of that tag. This is a little, like, um, Jolie sticker. And uh, the same, all the papers, the same paper pad. And then there's that trim I showed you uh, that I was using little pieces on the memory decks. This is what it's from. So I put that on there. And then I used those glitter balls and just glittered them all the way across, kind of like a little pom-pom trim. So that's that one. And then... My third one, third tag, is this one. This is my favorite. So this is like a um, chipboard uh, snowflake that came, you know, the bling was already on there. There's another one of them, Snowmen, that are dimensional from the Kane Company. I put that real pretty, uh, it's not, it's like velvet trim on there. This was gifted to me from Trina, um, from Trina's place. And yeah, I just used some more of those little trim snowflakes. And then I did some more of the snow with the gloss medium on the bottom. See how pretty that is? It comes out gorgeous. So yeah, that's what I did on that one. And then on the last one, I did this one. I actually used a die that I bought from Allie. I made it into a shaker. And then the shaker, I had like these holly... Um, leaves and holly berries and I used um you know some uh what do you call it snowflakes so that sequin mix these sequin mixes are old I've had them for a long time and never used them this bow I got a while ago and a uh like a savers haul and then um I used some glitter paper I used the uh ah like I foamed it up. I used foam as well. So like I did this, the back piece of this is foam and then the paper card stock and then this, you know, so it's thick, see? And then the flowers are little flowers I got from AliExpress recently. And I just used like red stickles, the red Christmas, the Christmas red stickles and different colored stickles and just stickled all the flowers up and then add another little snowflake there. Yeah. So that's that. That is my little uh, tag flip for Miss Sarah and my memory decks. So, yeah, you guys go check out her channel. Um, again, her challenge is uh, till the end of the month. So you guys have plenty of time to go. Well, depending on what you're going to make, um, you still have till the 25th. So, yeah, you got plenty of time. Um, so, remember, Sarah's Mountain Art. Let me get her little uh, thingy here. Go check out her channel. Go check out her mama. Her mama's very, very sweet, too. She's also having a challenge. I think her challenge is for a um, pocket letter, I believe. I believe it's a pocket letter. Um, but, yeah, go check them out. Show them some love. Um, and let them know I sent you. I hope you guys like the video and my little goodies that I made for her. Yeah, thumbs up. Remember, give me a thumbs up, guys. All right, guys, I love you. I'll be back. I have to show a couple more projects that I've done for some challenges. Uh, love you guys. Blessings. Bye.